The miracle of the Andes, that's what they called it. Many people come up to me and say that had they been there, they surely would have died. But it makes no sense. Because until you're in a situation like that, you, you have no idea how you'll behave. Making a film about real people is a very challenging experience. One of the 16 boys who survived, I got to meet 12 of them. Nando Parado was the, our technical advisor on the film. I can't tell you the number of times I found myself watching him, watching Frank Marshall direct the recreation of a moment in his life and his friend's 70 day ordeal, wondering how he could bear to be there. Kathy Kennedy and Frank met, fell in love, and married while they were working at Amblin. They made everything fun and a real adventure. I also became friends with Bruce Cohen. We took over a ski resort in the Canadian Rockies and for exterior shooting had to helicopter everyone up to a glacier. We built a full service Arctic quality camp where we could feed and house the entire production if we ever got stuck on the mountain. When that first stuck time came, everyone volunteered to stay. But after trying to sleep on a cot and eating freeze dried food, the next time we were stuck, there weren't so many volunteers. We wanted the actors to feel like they had spent two months near starvation, so as much as possible shot the film in continuity so the audience could feel the actors lose weight. At meals there were food for the crew and not so much food for the actors. For me and others, Alive was more than an action film. It's a drama of ideas and of the human spirit. The survivors were some of the most spiritual people I've ever met. As John Malkovich refers to in his introduction, God really does live for those who become acquainted with him in their extremities. Alive would be my last project at Disney. All right, we'll get Tintin. We're gonna send him back down to the plane. We'll take his extra food. You see, you see where the sun's gonna set? That way's west. Into the west of the green valleys of Chile. We're gonna die, you know. Maybe. But if we die, we're gonna die walking.